Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this special Mother's Day tutorial, we'll be doing a quick Mother's Day card here using a scribble technique. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let me show you how this is done. Let's just get rid of this one. There we go. And I'll save that. That is okay. So, file, new, blank file. And I have this set at the default Photoshop Elements size, which is 6 by 4 300 pixels because this is for printing and choose OK. There we go. There's our page. Now we need to have some text in here. So go to your type tool. There's lots of different types you can choose. I chose one called AR Christie Regular, which I think is one of the Adobe typefaces. And it's just like that. It's just kind of childlike, look, kind of kind of messy looking. And anything that's like this, kind of you know, goofy is really easy to use. That one's not too bad, but there are quite a few, as you can see, that would suit themselves for this. But the the messier the typeface, the easier this will be. Okay, so I used AR Christie Regular. And just click in here someplace, and we'll just type in Happy Mother's Day. There's Happy on one line, and Mother's Day on the next line. And there we go. Now let's just grab that corner and make this nice and large on the page. and get it pretty well centered. doesn't need to be exact. This is not a careful illustration we're doing here, just kind of a sloppy thing. So this is just going to be our template. Now the whole trick on this is that we actually draw in the letters. Make a new layer. There we go, layer 1. We'll be putting our text up here on layer 1 and just use this layer as a reference. So we'll start off and I'll do a couple of letters in here so you see how this is done. I won't do the whole thing because it takes a little while to do this. We'll do a couple of letters and then we'll do the butterfly and the flowers. Okay, I'll zoom in on the H. Good place to start. And that's too far. There we go. Okay, grab your paintbrush tool. Now on this default size I found that 5 pixels with a hard brush works real nice. And you'll find it right there, top of the list, just five. There we go. And let's find a nice color. Now I began with kind of a blue for the H up there. It's kind of a nice mid-tone blue here. Not real bright, just go clear to the right hand side. You want a little bit softer, just come down here. We can always change the colors afterwards, so don't worry about this being exact. Choose OK. Now we're going to just scribble this in. Now if you have a tablet and a stylus, this is easier. I'm using a mouse for this. It's a little more difficult with a mouse. And just kind of scribble in. Now don't worry about it being exact. You don't want this to be exact. You want to be going over the lines a bit, and you want to be leaving a lot of spaces in there. That's perfectly fine. And I'll go ahead and do this. Now on my mouse, this left and right is the just about the most difficult thing to do. Up and down is a lot easier. Don't ask me why, but that's just what I found. Again, this is much easier on a tablet, but that's okay. We want this to be a bit sloppy. So if your tools are fighting you a little bit, that's perfectly okay. It adds a bit of randomness to this. And the whole trick here is that we want to have a bit of randomness in here. So we'll just come down to there. Just kind of fill it in like that. Then just outline and Try to stay reasonably close to the line, but don't worry about being too careful. If it gets kind of squiggly in there, if you kind of miss the line, that's perfectly fine. It actually improves the look a bit. This just helps to define that shape. Okay, there's the H. Now when we hide our background letters, that's what you get. You get that nice shape, and it looks like it's just drawn with squiggles, which is exactly what we want to have done. Okay, well now to the A. On the same layer, these can all be on the same layer, that's fine. Go back to your foreground colors, click on the foreground color, and then simply move the slider control over here onto your, onto your next color. Like I'll do a green. It's a bit too bright. I'll come down just a little bit. That's pretty good. 
choose OK. Same exact thing, just come in here and squiggle in your letters. Again, you'll want to have some spaces showing, that's fine. You want to have it overlapping the lines a bit. All that's what it's supposed to be doing, so don't worry about it. If it's looking a little bit sloppy, it's absolutely perfect if it does. That's the whole effect we're going for here this time, is a, is a less careful look. We want it looking a bit more amateurish. Okay, and then just kind of follow around the outside of the letter here. And if you're outside like that, perfectly okay. Don't worry about that at all. That improves the look. So just kind of stay you know, relatively close to that. Edge is all we need. Okay, let's hide that. And there we go. So that's the idea. You simply go through and do that for every single one of your letters. And for each letter, just change your color. Click on your color over here. Pull it down to the next color like that or a different color like this. Choose OK and then do your next. I'll just do one more and then we'll go in and we'll put in our other images in here and we'll see how that's done. As you can see, it's really pretty easy to do. Now, it does take a little bit of time as you're seeing here, so that's why I'm not going to be doing the whole Happy Mother's Day. We'd be here for a bit longer than I want to be on this video. But by now, I'm sure you have the technique down pat and you'll be able to redo this. And then again, just follow along the edge. There we go. And back around the outside. And on these closed shapes, don't forget to do the inside as well. There we are. And perfect. Okay, let's now zoom out. You know, we'll fit on screen. So there's what it looks like on screen. It's looking real nice. Now I want to put a butterfly up here. So go back to our move tool, come over to graphics, and then have it set up by type and shapes. And then in here, there is a butterfly. Let me just click up here rather quickly to find our butterfly. There we go. There's actually a couple. They're kind of a more of a moth-like thing and a butterfly thing. So let's take that one, double click. There it is. It comes in as your last background color or foreground color rather. Don't worry about that. Let's just change that to black. So looks good. Let's just switch our colors. Paint bucket, click inside. And we're back to black again. Okay, back to our paintbrush. Now I'm going to move back to the move tool first. Let's just rotate this a bit like that, make it a little bit smaller. That's good. Okay, let's zoom in on this and get it as large as we can in here. Okay, it looks like that's about as big as we can go. Now this will be on a new layer, just to keep things nice and clean. So I'll do a new layer up here. Notice there's the shape layer, that's the butterfly right there. And right above that we'll do a new layer, this will be our drawing layer for the butterfly. And let's grab kind of a nice medium orange for this, choose OK. Back to the brush tool and I'm going to outline the wings. Now on this, I'm going to be going around these wings three times just to get kind of a nice, a nice look on that. So there's one. Again, it doesn't matter if you overlap or if you're a bit sloppy. That's perfectly fine. That's kind of the look that I'm going for here. Here's number two. And then coming back around here for number three. There's our first wing. Let's now do the other wing over here. Wing number two. We'll come around to the big kind of outline bit on this. There's one. Here's around number two. And back around one more time for number three. Here we go. Now it's fill this with the magenta. I'll go back to our tool. Let's move our slider up to get into the magentas. Now that's kind of nice. And I'm just going to squiggle in here and fill the inside with this. Now, I'm doing this all in the same layer 
so that I have the, the colors overlapping. See right there, the colors are overlapping sometimes. That's also part of the effect I'm trying to have here. So go ahead and allow your colors to be a bit messy in there. That's perfectly fine. Now we'll do the second wing. We'll be doing the body and the antennae next, and then we'll go ahead and put in the circular spots on the wing for that a little bit of additional detail in there. Okay, let's continue on down on the scribbling like that. Let's now change to a blue. Go medium blue. That yeah, looks pretty good. And let's get the, the body in here. And it's kind of scribbling it in. And then a little line there and a little line there. Let's now use this same blue and I'll just scribble in a circle spot here and scribble in a circle spot up in there and let's go back and I have a nice orangey color and I'll scribble in a spot here and we'll scribble in a spot right down there there we go now if I hide the butterfly there's the scribbled in butterfly effect looking good okay now I have our flowers at the bottom Let's zoom back out again. And there we go. And let's just hide that butterfly. Leave that like that. Okay. Back to our graphics. And let's scroll down a bit. And there's some flowers down here. Here we go. Lots of different flowers. I chose that one right there. I'm just going to reset our colors to black this time ahead of time. There we are. Double click. Brings the flower in. And I'll put it right here. And I'll squeeze it down. A bit shorter there we are she's okay let's do another one double click there's the flower come just outside here at the top and rotate that around and again the other corner bring the size down so it's not bumping into your letters we don't want to have any overlappings on these things and we'll do one more down here double click there's the flower and let's bring the size down. And that's good. Okay, now let's draw the flowers in. Back to our color. Let's come back to an orange. And we'll zoom in. There's our flowers and paintbrush. And let me make sure that I'm on the right layer, of course. Shape four. These are these shapes. These are flower shapes in here. Make a new layer above the flower shapes. There we go. And we'll just scribble on that layer. So there's the center of that flower, center of that flower, and the center of this flower. Let's now change this to a yellow. And we'll do the petals in here, just like that. Again, don't try to be perfect. We're not aiming at for perfect here. We're looking for sloppy. That's the effect we want. We'll be outlining these in red in just a minute. Let's get all the petals in. We'll then outline them in red, and then we'll do the stem and the leaves in green. Okay, over here, get this one. You see, it's pretty fast and pretty easy. It, it takes a, a little bit of time just because there's a lot of detail to put in here and a lot of little lines to draw, but it's not a difficult project. Okay, let's now go to red. Let's clear at the bottom and then simply come in and outline the flower just like that. And then we'll go over and we'll do the other two flowers. There we are. Okay, other two flowers. Oh, didn't want to do that. Undo that brush. There we go. Okay. These flowers, same thing, just kind of outlining them. And we'll see how this looks and as soon as we get our leaves and stem on. And I think we'll have just the right effect in here. Again, don't try to be too careful on this. You want to be a little bit messy. That's the whole 
the whole effect here. Okay, last bit, let's go to our greens. Up in here, we want a bit of a darker green. So in there somewhere. And let's do a couple of lines for the stems. One up and one down. And then the same thing on the leaves that we did on the letters. Just squiggle into the leaves. And then we're going to outline the leaves. Here we go. Okay, do our outline. Here's one. Here's two. And there's the last number four. Same thing on this side. Once up and once down. And squiggle into the leaves. There we go. And then outline them. And there it is. And let's get this back on our full screen. And let's hide those flower shapes, which are those three. And there we go. So all that's left then is to go through and do all of the letters in there. Like we were just doing, just choose a different color each time, squiggle in the middle, then do the outline, squiggle in the middle, then do the outline, middle, and then outline until you finish off the whole card. Now if you want to change a color on these, it's easy to do. Let's just zoom in a little bit and I'll hide that black. Let's say I wanted to change this green to a different green or something. Go up and grab the lasso tool, whatever you want. I kind of like the polygon, but whatever you like. And just make a selection around the letter so that it's separate from the other letters. And then enhance, adjust color, hue saturation. Oh, and then get on the right layer. There we go. Okay, enhance, adjust color, hue saturation. And then simply move the hue back and forth. And you can change the color to any color that you want. I kind of like green, but I think I'll go for a little more saturation, but a little darker for a different kind of a green. There we go. So the hue saturation allows you to change the colors completely once you have them on there. So again, just go ahead and draw all your, your letters in. If you're not happy, you can always come back and modify them afterwards. Okay, and then deselect. So there you go. That is how to do a scribble card. And let's just deselect that. And there we go. I'll bring our letters back in again. I'll just bring back up the finished one up here. There we go. So there it is. That's how to do a squiggle or a scribble style Mother's Day card. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this 